Back here in Nova Scotia, again on the Bay of Funday, this is Parsboro and uh, really gets some of the highest tides in the world. Today uh, we're looking at about 43 to 44 feet here and this is the, the basically the, the lowest part of the low tide. Um, and if you look at this behind me, it's our first boat. So when the tide comes in, that boat will be above water. Uh, launch ramp right here when the tide is in and uh, check this out. So these boats uh, in a few hours here are gonna be floating again just like they were in a, in a normal harbor. Um, pretty incredible here that we are actually standing in a marina. Uh, just shows you the pure power of the tides here uh, in the Bay of Fundy. And uh, look at this. You think this boat was abandoned or something? Well, it'll actually be right up at the top here, uh, here in a few hours. So back in the, uh, quote, marina here, uh, you can see the boats we were just sitting at over here, and it shows you the, uh, the amazing tides that come through here. Again, largest tides in the world. It's pretty insane. And to amplify that, check this out. Shows you really how tall or how high and low these tides can be. Uh, you know, boats will come through this channel right here. So uh, it's pretty amazing. So we're out here after sunset, taking a walk around the tidal areas. You can see how high the water line gets when the tide comes in. And you can see it's still running out right now. It's unbelievable. Taking Bruce back to his childhood days, back when adventure was his middle name. Here we go. We're crossing the channel. I don't think it's going to get any deeper than this, dude. Woo woo! Look out. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's the pier. There's the restaurant. There's a, a pretty good sunset. And uh, look out, here goes Bruce. Over to the lighthouse, tide's going out. Standing at the lighthouse almost, shows you a little bit more perspective of uh, the dock. Pretty incredible. We're, uh, we're walking out from the lighthouse about a Pretty good, a good quarter mile from land right now. No, uh, no water at all. But one of the locals kind of stopped us and said, uh, "You bulls better be ready, because when that tide comes in, it comes in quickly." So we're uh, we're going quick. We're going to take a picture, and if we see the tide coming in, we got to get out, or we'll be spending the night out here. So uh, <laughs> here we go. So a little perspective, uh, this is the Bay of Fundy right here, and uh, it is receded at the lowest part of its low tide, and it is a whoop, about to slowly uh, come back. Quickly. Uh, quickly. And uh, another perspective, if you take a look, uh, forget it, that is, no, yeah, if you take a look out here, we're going to go really quickly all the way out here. That's where we were this morning, um, or an hour ago, back there. See right there? That's where we were this morning, hiking around. So, uh, kind of done a loop here. And if you look, all this will be covered. We won't be here because uh, it's gonna be dark, but uh, there's the lighthouse we came out here to see. And uh, this bay will be completely covered. And to give you a little bit of perspective of where we are right now, I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so that's the dock right there. Um, this dock right here is where those boats are, where we parked our car. Look at that. So, all this right here will be full 20, 30 feet of water. You can have boats go uh, clear into the area uh, as they will this entire bay here. Happens twice a day.
So, uh, yeah, those are going to be floating at the top of this uh, pier here in about uh, four or five hours. And we're going to uh, head in for the night. Not a bad evening here in Nova Scotia. Yeah, we're suffering. Suffering again. There's the lighthouse doing its job. We're out of here. That's a cool shot.